Hi and welcome back to Sailing Star Dreamer. Uh, now the boat's more or less clean on the outside, I've got a few jobs to start doing. So I've been over to Amazon, onto my wish list, which you can see down in the description below and other items as well. Uh, got a few jobs to do. Right, let's turn this camera around and uh, we see what we got to do. There we go. Future projects. Right. JB Weld. Gooseneck. Um, where the ma where the boom joins the mast, it's worn. So I plan using the JB Weld to fix that problem. Also, the fuel tank has got a leak in there. So one of the jobs it's to either take the tank out or if I'm clean enough off so I can see where it's leaking from do it in situ hopefully using this those two fittings uh, one's for the solar that's going on today uh, the other one I'm thinking about getting um, thinking about getting a weather station don't know whether it'll work on a boat please leave your comments uh, down below to let me know uh, the reason being getting that is I haven't got any wind instruments so I'm hopefully be able to use uh, a weather station for wind direction speed etc next comes over to Dynamina got mouse line uh, all the running rigging needs to come off, get inspected, washed, put back on. Uh, so I'll be using that to run all the sheets through. And of course, there's the solar. 50 watts, MPT controller, that's a 10 amp. Uh, I've only got the one battery. So hopefully that will start charging that and uh, I'll be able to see if the engine works. All right, see you in a minute. Right, first of all, I want to take the battery out. Here's the battery. Oh, now we're cooking. Get that boy. Right, that's your this comes up easy. Hopefully you can salvage it. Hopefully. Right, let's get some spanners and get this off. So, what I'm considering where the actual solar's going, I've got a Raymarine speed depth gauge, which is inside the boat with a repeater into the cockpit. At the moment, that's not working, so because I'm going to drill a couple of holes, might as well do that as well. <coughs> this unit was up on there, which I've just taken down, with cobwebs as well. Hopefully no tarantulas. Taking this panel out now, obviously you can see some electric, so we see what happens from there. You know what? One boat job turns into another, turns into another, turns into another. 
So let's all see how many jobs this is going to be just to get the solar on. Enjoy. What I hope to do, get away with, do away with that unit which was up there and fit the charge controller at the base, just that picture. Um, run the electrics then down to the battery and then also up onto the actual roof for the solar. I was hoping to put it onto the back of the boat, but Looks like I'm going to have to put it onto the hatch instead. So let's see what happens when I take this panel off. Well, they all seem to be in okay. There we are. On the actual paneling, I want to put the board around by here. Easy to see, and then you can run your electrics down for uh, the battery. Solar come in towards the top and down. Let's see what happens. Right, catch up so far. Hmm. Not quite a simple job if uh, you want to try and do it nice. See, no job's too easy on a boat, is it? Discovered, if I remove this panel, there's a hole just in the side here. That obviously I can feed the cables through to the battery and make it look a lot neater. I hate flat screws. There we go. Back up around the right way. Whew. All this just to get solar and hopefully make it look nice. Hopefully, you can 
see the electrics go through. There is a hole. So feed that through. Down for the battery and see what happens from there. Right, let's crack on. Catch you in a minute while I decide exactly what I'm doing. Cable through, red and black, haven't paired or anything like that at the moment. They will go onto there. I don't know whether you can see it. Runs through here into the engine compartment. Comes up. Then the box was by here. Like so, without the hand. I run it behind the box, coming out by there. I then intend to have the charge controller unit by here, uh, with it running through, should imagine, at the top here somewhere. I haven't been able to do much filming because it's just been too awkward and it's myself filming with a, a normal iPhone but uh, I shall keep you updated as they say. As you can see, the battery was a little bit flat. But right then, as I said, you got the battery, all the cables in there. That's going to get locked up back in there. It all runs through behind here, comes out into the battery section. solar out there I've only done this temporary at the moment because I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it on the boat I know it's in the shade but at least it's gonna get some uh, it's gonna work a bit isn't it? better than not having any solar. So yeah, it's quite easy. So if I don't next time I come down whether the boat is still here, I'll not be caught on fire. Hmm. Touch wood. Yeah, I'm gonna secure that down for the night and uh, see how it goes. Happy days. Any of the items that you see on the channel, um, I'll be listing in the description below. So uh, go and have a look and uh, take it from there. I'm happy with this. It's a 50 watt solar, 10 watt charge controller. I haven't got much in the way of electrics. Got to move those. No good by there. Gonna bring him up by here. Have this as the nav panel. Um, I'm down tomorrow. Do some more filming. But yeah, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Have a look at the lovely fuel tank. Nice. Right, as you can see, first charging away. Nicely, let you know what happens tomorrow.